come to the rink and try and win championships, and that's what it's all about. When you look from the outside and you watch this team, they, I know we're going to have a good, real good, solid hockey team this year. Welcome back to Fireside Rangers. I'm your host, Anthony Rivardo, joined by my co-host, Eric Wilson. Today, we're going to be recapping a little bit of the preseason games that we've missed. We were stuck in the hurricane trying to remain safe. We were having some tough time getting on here and recording for you guys, but we're back. We're ready to record. And in particular, during these preseason games, we want to clue in on Jimmy VC. Jimmy VC is a player who's on a PTO with the Rangers, who has been with the Rangers in the past, uh, bounced around to a few teams, and now he's back. And he's back, and he looks better than ever almost in these preseason games. And we're really excited by his performance. And we want to talk about how he is actually earning himself a spot in the Rangers lineup. And we think that he's got a really good chance of stealing Dryden Hunt's position heading into the regular season, which is just over one week away. One week and one day. We're super excited. We're going to be giving you recaps and all that stuff, analysis on all the remaining two preseason games. And then, of course, we're super, super excited to start covering the regular season, as I'm sure all of you are excited for the regular season to get underway. But before we dive into Jimmy VC, preseason recap, all that good stuff. Eric, how are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing good. Like you said, it's good to be back actually talking now that we have Wi-Fi and power again. Haven't haven't even been able to watch the last two preseason games. I know we dropped one of the Devils and then one against the Devils. Uh, our boy Panarin scored a very beautiful shot, which is nice. Uh, just watching highlights is all I can do now. But uh, it's good to be back and we'll be back for the last two games of the preseason. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And of course, speaking of beautiful shots, how about Jimmy VC off the heezy? Jimmy VC scoring a goal off of someone's dome. That was pretty cool. That was against the Islanders, though, but we didn't really touch on that just yet. And since we're talking about Jimmy VC today, I figured we would go ahead and mention that play. It was really awesome. If, if anybody didn't see that, Jimmy VC scored a goal. He basically just put a power shot right on the on the on the face mask of the uh, Islanders goalie and it went in. It was pretty cool and funny. He had a quote about it too. He said something funny, something like, um, let me go ahead and find the quote real quick. He said, quote, I don't know how much room there was, but I'll take it. End quote. So just a little funny moment there. Um, But really let's dive into Jimmy VC's performance over these few games. Now, Um, of course, He actually has scored that goal, and he's also recorded two assists in his three games, and he also had a really hard check on the PK, saved the game-tying goal, and preserved a Rangers win against the Devils in the most recent game. So uh, the penalty-killing aspect of Jimmy Vc's game is something that's been discussed lately as a reason for him to overtake Dryden Hunt uh, for the last forward spot. So, Eric, I want to get your thoughts real quickly on Jimmy VC before we really dive into him versus Dryden Hunt. What are your thoughts on his performance throughout this this preseason? Yeah, I mean, as I've mentioned, like all throughout the offseason, I was very skeptical about signing Jimmy VC, even just to a PTO. You know, throughout the preseason, there is usually one guy that just comes out of nowhere, steps up, and then makes the team that you weren't expecting. And man, Jimmy VC was the last person I was expecting. <laughs> like you said earlier, this is like the best hockey he's like ever played. And I, I did not see this coming, but he is playing phenomenally. And I think he, he does deserve a spot on this team. I have to say that I do agree with you. I think when it comes down to it, like I said, it's going to be him versus Dryden Hunt for that last spot is pretty much what everyone expects it to be, especially considering now that Brennan Othman was sent back down. Um, he won't be with the Rangers to start this season, which is something that we're probably going to get into in a whole nother discussion for another video. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about that. But Brennan Othman not making the roster does leave a wide open lane for um, Jimmy VC to go ahead and steal a position here. Um, like I said, a goal and two assists in three games. Last season, he registered eight goals and 15 points in 68 games for the Devils. Uh, he came into the league 2016 to 17. He was supposed to be a top six forward. Obviously, that never came to fruition. He spent some time with the New York Rangers, was traded to the Buffalo Sabres. His game kind of fell off the map after that. But now, again, like I, like I said, here he is, maybe looking better than ever, back with the Rangers, uh, return to Broadway style. And it, it's pretty interesting to see him making this return on this PTO. Obviously, it's a professional tryout. So it's do, do or die, basically, for Jimmy VC. But to see him stepping up to the plate and really making an impact in these preseason games, turning heads at practice as well, uh, it's pretty interesting to see because like i said do or die he has to perform or he's gone and he's performing so he's kind of pressing the rangers hand in my opinion because yes he was a player that very well was a question mark could he make the team could he get cut whatever but he is playing so well now eric that it looks like the rangers don't have a choice but to just give him the roster spot that he earned so what are your thoughts on that do they have to give him a roster spot at this point or are there other players in the mix that you think maybe could overtake that spot from him 
I don't know if they have to, but they'd be dumb if they didn't, you know, with the level that Jimmy VC is playing at. You know, we keep saying he might just like steal Dredd and Hunt on the fourth line. But, you know, you could probably do that and then maybe even move himself up on the third line if he keeps playing like this, you know. Like you said, he was projected to be a top six forward. It never happened. But if he keeps playing like this and other players aren't playing up to par, you know, you could easily see Jimmy VC end up in the top six at some point. Now, that might be a little bit of <clears throat> like I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself right there. But I'm just so impressed by the way that he's been playing. He looks very strong with the puck. He's doing very well on the penalty kill. And he's getting points. And that's pretty much all you can ask for for a depth forward. So he'd be a perfect fit on the fourth line or even just the third line, you know? Yeah, and I think that's exactly what it is. And, and he might be on that third line, might be on that fourth line. But in order for that to happen, like I said, it's probably coming down to him or Dryden Hunt. So let's go ahead and discuss that little roster battle here, Eric. Um, I want to get your quick thoughts on Dryden Hunt before we really dive into the comparison between the two players. I mean, I, I've never been the biggest fan of Dryden Hunt. There, there are moments where he'll go out on the ice and impress me, but overall, I've never been the biggest fan of him. I think he creates more problems than fixes uh, most of the time, and I think that Jimmy V is just a more solid player at, at this point than their both both of their careers. Yeah, I mean, Dryden Hunt is a player that has decent speed. We all know that. He's decent speed. He's a strong four-checker, but he's not a good penalty killer. And with 29-year-old Jimmy VC, as I'm, I, I forgot to mention, he is a 29 years old playing on the PTO. He is a really good penalty killer. And he's made a couple of nice penalty kills in the preseason so far, and he's looked like a much better player in that facet of the game than Dryden Hunt has ever looked like uh, so far in this preseason. So, Eric, what are your thoughts on the penalty killing aspect of Jimmy VC's game? Does that give him a clear cut edge to making the lineup? I mean, yeah, definitely. Special teams is like a big reason why our team was so successful as it was last season. I think we had both top 10 in power play and penalty kill. So even just like to see Jimmy VC and like even Lafreniere and Kako have been doing really well on the penalty kill, which is something that we touched upon in a previous episode, is extremely important to see these guys step up and kill penalties. You know, the, the less goals that you let in, it's the, the higher chance that you're going to win. So I think it's a very big factor. Yeah, me too. I mean, having a forward that can kind of contribute defensively as well, you know, like you just mentioned, preventing mm -hmm. the other team from scoring goals. I do think that's super important, and that's an underlooked aspect of Jimmy Vc's game. I just think the fact that, you know, he has the ability to shut down the opposing team's offensive attack is super, super important. And it's something that the Rangers are missing when Dryden Hunt is on the ice. And I think that Dryden Hunt, yes, while he is fast, he's athletic, and he can get down there, maybe shoot some goals. I think that Jimmy Vc has more versatility and more of a, an it factor, right? He can kind of do everything out there on the ice. And I think that's what makes him so valuable and potentially much more valuable than Dryden Hunt to the Rangers. Mm -hmm. Right. So... Before we wrap this one up, Eric, do you have any last thoughts on Jimmy VC, the way that he's played in the preseason, Dryden Hunt, or anything regarding this uh, positional battle? Um, I was just, I'll just to conclude my thoughts. I definitely think it's Jimmy VC over Dryden Hunt. I'd say like uh, here I go with my percentages, like 70, 76 percent chance that Jimmy VC makes the team opening night and over Dryden Hunt. And also that'll make me a little upset though because when Jimmy VC. Uh, got traded away. I threw my Jimmy VC jersey in the fire. So don't do that. <laughs> never burn your jerseys, man. You never know what might happen. I'm a huge New York Giants fan. Of course, I do the podcast Fireside Giants. If any of you are Giants fans, go check that one out. But I still got my Landon Collins jersey. Today, Landon Collins went ahead, had a visit with the Giants. He hasn't been with the team for four years. You never throw your jerseys away. Never know when they might return. Might Even Odell Beckham one. Jr. Everybody knows OBJ. OBJ <laughs> wants to return to the Giants. I've still got a couple of his jerseys hanging around waiting for the return. So, Eric, you Rookie mistake this, there, man. This you, one you came never out of your jerseys. Field, dude. I was not ready for this one. <laughs> yeah. The Jimmy VC return, no one saw that come in. It was very surprising. And like we said, it's been a pleasant surprise for the Rangers thus far. He's here on this PTO, and he's playing really well, and it does look like he's going to make the lineups again. Um, and we're super excited for that. But, of course, lineups will be set soon. The Rangers are continuing to trim down their roster. As we mentioned, Brennan Offman sent down to the OHL and a couple other key members that have also been placed on waivers. Um, Louis Domingue as well. He was placed on the waivers. A very interesting move by the Rangers there. We're going to go ahead and recap all of the moves once the final lineup is set right here on Fireside Giants. But make sure to comment down below your thoughts on Jimmy VC. Does he deserve to be in the lineup? Maybe you prefer Dryden Hunt. Let us know what you think down below. Of course, like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. 
channel. Ring the bell so you don't miss a video. We got a ton of great New York Rangers content coming up, especially as the regular season kicks off. We'll catch you all on the next one. Have a good one, and let's go, Rangers. Let's go, Rangers. He shoots. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it.